Good morning, YouTube. Coming back at you in the truck once again. So it's Friday. Friday morning. So good morning. Good morning. I'm Anson. And I'm on my way to Jeff's house because it, it's a community day. And he said uh, a few folks were getting together. And we're going to grab some stuff from his old place. Go over to his new place and then put some stuff together. Maybe repair a few things, get some good grub, just uh, hang out for the day, and then who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> so, <coughs> but before I can get to, to doing any of that, this truck is full of trash. So I need to get over to, to dump some trash and I do apologize if, if the heat is a, a little on the loud side. Kind of cold this morning. And I can't see nothing out my mirror. And it's, it's wet. And muggy. Well, not muggy. It, it's, it's a little dreary, I guess. Hope I don't hit nothing back here. I know I got a few... A few things of mud, <laughs> metal, the bucket's back there off of Lil Mac. Don't want to hit that. <sighs> yeah. This truck does not have a very good turning radius compared to what I've seen other Ford trucks have. <laughs> but it's not my truck. So, <sighs> yes, radio, I know. Uh, this whole time, so I don't know if you if you heard that noise. It's actually the the CD player on the radio. And my mom, because it's her truck, right? She's like, "There's nothing in there. I've never put anything in there." Like, but it sounds like there's a CD stuck, and that the gears are stripped and that it won't eject it, right? Or it won't do anything with it. So, <coughs> um, you know, she's been driving the thing for years. You know at least over a year <laughs> with it like that and then now i've had the truck for a good hot minute with it doing it like that this whole time and then i get a call from my uncle my uncle mark because he's one that that normally pulled the trailer um whenever my mom did not right so that this whole time he's like, yeah, I think I got a CD stuck in there. If you want to try to get it out, I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, this whole time, mom's been saying that there's nothing in there, and now you're saying that there probably is something in there. So, uh, yeah, gonna have to figure out how to get that out. I haven't done it yet. It's been kind of low on my priority to do list. So, man, it's. It's froggy this morning. And uh, I, I wish I had been able to get you guys turned around without having to stop the video. Because I'm not trying to. Here, let me see if I can't just turn you around. Look at this. New cow. <laughs> yeah, it's froggy. So, I'm going to get up here and. and and get the the trash and everything done and uh i know plus being on dirt road sorry it's gonna be bumpy i'm trying to take it nice and slow um <clears throat> got my coffee and uh getting up this morning kind of early felt pretty good even though i didn't get to bed till probably like one o'clock you know just wasn't able to get to sleep because I mean I, I've been going to bed around oh I, I say I go to bed at you know 9 to 10 and then I probably am not sleeping till around 11 to midnight and then I'll, I'll normally get up around 8 give or take that's my day <laughs> and then last night I probably didn't fall asleep till around one something in the morning. And then uh, I'm up and bush tail. So <laughs> I 
and wave at the neighbors. And uh, yeah, uh, get and get out here. I'm still drinking my my coffee. How boy that I just passed. He lives in his truck. He's truly off grid there right there. <coughs> Older gentleman, I've had a chance to talk to him for a little bit. Don't really know his whole story, but I know he don't work. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty certain that he's an Army veteran, but I haven't actually had a chance to sit down and just chit chat with him on it. But he seems like to be a pretty nice gentleman. He, he knew the owner of the property that we currently live on and that's what we had talked about the most you know just trying to get a little bit of a backstory on the property and and just stuff that had been going on you know because he's probably been here his whole life i don't know but don't even know if he even watches the channel i mean i highly doubt he watches this one but whether he watches the main channel or not i don't know because uh, I didn't really, I mean, I I said that we'd do YouTube, but I didn't really tell them the channel name. But I think that day that I had stopped to talk to him, I was wearing one of my shirts. So, I don't know. No telling. I, I don't always tell everybody that, hey, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. Uh, it's, I mean, I, I'll say, you know, if it, if it comes up a conversation, I'll, I'll say, hey, you know, I retired Navy or whatnot, and we just do YouTube for a living. And then if they ask, well, hey, what's your YouTube channel? Then I, I tell them what the YouTube channel is. But that that's not something that I normally will just say, yeah, this is us. Go go follow us. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because if I, I'm not going to make anybody do nothing. <laughs> They want to follow the journey, they'll ask. Right? So, I don't know. This, like, yeah, yesterday's video, if you made it to the end, uh, yeah, I, I talked about, hey, I, I think we're cursed. <laughs> I still think we're cursed. Because <coughs> stuff just happens, but no. It, it, it's one of those, you know, so, sometimes when you're in a. Uh, a Mexican household right is which I I believe you know in a lot of that stuff and you know we will go through and, and Gladys does you know cleanings of, of the house you know of just try to get rid of any uh, unwanted guests you know just to kind of purify the space and and, and same thing you know with us you know of, of cleansing our bodies and, and stuff <clears throat> so we we believe in in all that uh all those things right so that that's one of the things that we've never really talked about on our channel right is our, our spiritual beliefs or any of those things right <clears throat> which I mean, if you guys are interested in that, there, there's nothing wrong with it. I actually grew up Southern Baptist. Um, Gladys was a little more on the, the Catholic side, but not really practice, per se. Um, same, same thing here, right? I, I was always kind of one of those, I was not necessarily forced to go to church as a child. Um, because I, I was not right. My my mom and dad were not the church going kind, <laughs> and we did not. But yet, grandparents on both sides, right? My my dad's parents were Baptist preacher. He he actually did that for quite a while, um, and then my grandpa, on my mom's side, my mom's parents, they were actually missionaries baptist missionaries so um i i think you know both of my parents were rebellions 
<laughs> and so, uh, yeah, that's how they lived. So obviously we didn't go to church, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean that that we don't believe in in things. But the the way I look at it is, it's a very, very, very big universe. We are not the only living creatures in this universe in that if someone came here to to help out humans a long long time ago they would see that person as a deity or as a god do i think there's only one other race or or stuff like that nope i think there's a lot of them and Hence the reason why a lot of people think there's a lot of different types of gods. So, yeah. That, that's kind of how I feel. Is, is is it just one and done? Or just a, a all, all-knowing spirit, per se? No. <laughs> that, but that's how I feel. Uh, but I, I do think that, you know, we, we've had intervention... And I do believe that they will come back, you know, to set stuff right if it's not going the way that they wanted it to go, because they've done it before, right? So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's kind of how I feel on that. So, but anyway, I need to get this trash dump. That way I can get over to Jeff's place. I think I've been uh, rambling on <laughs> long enough and, and such, but... We definitely appreciate you guys for, for following the journey, helping us grow, sharing us out. I really wish that there was a video this Friday, but we were not able to get back out to finish the project we we're working on because of the rain and just uh, other, other stuff, right? So um, try to get it out as soon as possible. I, I probably will not have another video out on the main channel until Monday. Um, so apologize for that. It, it is what it is so but we definitely thank you guys uh regardless helping us grow help us get to that 2700 uh goal be, because it, it seems right now that you know that the 2666 is just stuck stuck there and that's why i said we're cursed because i'm not trying to be stuck there all right you guys so we thank you and last but not least, remember to always think a veteran at every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.